In the workshop, this is a special Blackgates Engineering Southworth Engines feature. The first engine to look at is this one, a Lincoln cross-compound steam engine. And as it says on the base, it's also available as a single cylinder and a tandem compound engine. I'll stop talking and turn on the compressed air and see how it runs. As you can see by the way the engine looks and the way it sounds, it's a very well made engine. And the model is also designed to a very fine scale. Just look at how many nuts there are around the cylinders and even on the steam chest. This Lincoln cross compound engine has two cylinders. One is a high pressure cylinder and the other one is a low pressure cylinder. Now look at this, a board full of steam pumps. All built by Mr Peter Southworth who designed them in the first place. Sadly Peter Southworth is no longer with us but the legacy of his engines lives on. If you watch my channel frequently, you will realise that this is the 12-inch South of Engine steam pump, because I have a couple of them, made by Mr Don English. This board of superb engines is the one that Blackgates Engineering take around the exhibitions. It's currently used as a static display, the engines don't generally run at the exhibitions. This is the small duplex pump. The two cylinders are capable of pumping quite a lot of water for its small size. I'd better mention at this stage that these are steam boiler feed pumps for pumping cold water into the boiler. The other end of the spectrum, this is the large duplex pump. If you wonder why these pumps are knocking a little bit, it's because they're not pushing against anything. If they were pumping water, they would sound entirely different. And this is a duplex pump in between the other two sizes. This is the medium sized pump from the range. Here's a close-up of the valve motion. They all run very well to say they haven't been run for a number of years. This is a 6-inch vertical Southworth pump, and even a pump like this is more than capable of feeding the boiler of a 5-inch gauge locomotive. The last pump on the board is different to all the others in as much as it is a rotative pump. It's not self-starting, you just need to give it a push. Sometimes it will start if it stops in the right position. It's got a very interesting motion. To keep everything rigid, it's actually the crosshead guide that moves, and it moves across the crankshaft. When I was watching this, I thought, how funny would it be to make this crosshead guide out of a piece of hacksaw blade? And then in no time at all, it would saw through the crankshaft and the pump would drop to bits. I like this pump, it's just different to all the rest, and it will run unfeasibly slowly. I don't think it would run quite as slow as this if it was pumping water, but at the moment it really is going very slowly. I'm surprised that the flywheel takes it over top dead centre. Here are all the pumps on the board. And the only one that I didn't run was a very small one. I've had one of these in the past and it did run okay, but this one refused to start. And at the time of filming, I didn't have time to mess about with it and make it go. The tickets on the board display the current prices as of the 1st of February 2019. 
Please be aware, though, that these prices are not for the finished engines. These are for casting sets. And talking about casting sets, here's a bag of castings for the 12-inch high vertical pump. I thought it would be a good idea to show you the castings, just to show how good quality they are. Here's the steam cylinder casting, just to compare with the finished one. And this casting is the body of the water chest on the engine. Here's the cap for it. These castings don't need that much cleaning up which is more than can be said for some castings that need a lot of fettling or cleaning up before you even start the machining process. Here's a quick loose assembly of all the casting parts. These parts are cast in gunmetal, and as far as I'm aware from what viewers tell me, what we call gunmetal is known as red brass in the USA. And that's it for this Blackgate's Engineering Southworth Engines feature. I'll leave my 12-inch steam pump on the right-hand side running to play the video out. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.